On August the 14th, we lost 14 out of two platoons, and we had, a, am going to say, I don't know for sure, at least 14 more wounded. And I don't like talking about this, but three days after that, and I wrote about it in my book, I had to go identify with my squad leader and another guy in our squad who identify our dead. 14 guys in body bags, gone. Later that day, we'd identified our dead. My squad leader and the other guy in our squad had gone in to try to go to sleep. I said, I'm going to set up a while. I don't think I can sleep after doing that. Finally, I was exhausted, and I just said to myself, I'm going in the tent and go to sleep. And I laid my M16 right next to me on the cot, and I started to cry. And I was ashamed. And I cried and I cried. And I thought to myself, if my, those 14 guys I knew could die, for their country, I could damn sure set a tear for them. And if somebody doesn't like it and hears me, then they can do whatever they want to do with it. I'm going to shed a tear for my friends. And I never cried again for another 47 years. Not once. That emotion thing, that emotional numbing thing had taken over completely and I didn't care. I did not care. <laughs>